Joe, you want chips? Yeah, what's we'll Sorry, they're all gone. <laughs> Yay, now that we're finally unpacked and settled into our new place, I can finally start making my own cafe mochas. I don't have to drive all the way to Starbucks, wait in line, pay $6. I can make it in the comfort of my own home. family um, it is Monday and there is a huge storm headed to Houston actually at all of the Gulf Coast in Texas um, and it's kind of like a tropical storm I guess and so because of the rain uh, that we had the last two weeks I think it was and the grounds are like completely saturated um, they're thinking that it's probably gonna flood really bad in this area and it did flood really bad two weeks ago and um, and so this is like another round. If you're from the Houston area, you know how bad Houston gets flooded. And it gets flooded really, really badly. Um, I actually had a friend whose house got flooded in um, the last two weeks whenever we had that flood. And so um, I'm sure this is very scary for them because they already started um, doing the construction on the house and fixing it back up. And now here we go again with more flooding. So anyways, um, now that... Um, you know that they, that they actually see this coming my dad works for the city of Houston and so he's gonna have to work overnight um, so we're gonna go stay with my mom since she's gonna be home alone and you know you just don't never know if the electricity is gonna go out if it's gonna flood we got Romeo with us and we're gonna go to my mom's house and go stay the night with her just to be safe and make sure that everything is okay and that it doesn't get um, really really bad and so that she's not alone just you just never know you just gotta be overly prepared because you just never know what's gonna happen so we're gonna go stay the night with my mama. You ready to go? <laughs> the night at mama's house? Stay the night at mama's house. Slumber <laughs> party? You got your nighties? I got the goods. Oh my gosh. Hey God, do you have a license? <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> oh. Hey there, puppy. Oh, he's cute. It's so funny because everything is like filling out. Look at all the water. All the water is gone. <laughs> People are like really panicking. Water. That's lemon water. Ain't it just sprinkling? It's just a it's just a sprinkle today, right? Oh my gosh. Too funny. I can't believe how bad people are panicking. I guess because whenever I hit it was so bad when the electricity was out for weeks and so I think people are just fearful that if that happened again um, they're not gonna be in the situation they were in last time where there was no water um, so you know if you're not prepared then you're gonna get screwed so I think that's why people are just really panicking I reckon there's a storm brewing Joe you reckon there it is by y'all yonder over yonder there's a storm brewing over there in Channel View Changing the wheel, there's a storm. Where? See how it falls down right there. That's right. If anything, that one over there it looks like more like a tornado. Hey, do they still have water? <laughs> That'd be funny if someone still have water. Joe, you left it in the back. Yeah. You're such a goof. Somebody would still have water. <laughs> now is not a smart time to put water in the truck, Joe. <laughs> Look how bad. You can already see it starting to come, that's for sure. They love the word hurricane. Periscoping with people from Houston who are also talking the about the storm. Weather authority. Um, come to us. You can see the clouds are starting to come in through, but it, it cleared up, so it's not so bad. I periscoped it a few minutes ago. And ABC and NBC and, and you heard it here first. There's rain and wind coming. And you better get water and you better get bread and 
and <laughs> lock up your pets and and put them in the shelter and it's just rain. I mean, it's, it's a tropical rain. storm. So, exactly. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of rain. I'm sure that there'll be some wind with it. Um, but there was none of that hysteria. And it's barreling towards us as we speak. It's coming <laughs> in from the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Armageddon yeah, so. is coming. So instead of going to stock up on um, some water and bread, we're going to come here to JCPenney's and stock up on some clothes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Taking this opportunity while it's the empty. parking lot's pretty empty. Um, we're going to go do some shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I cannot believe they even took like all those snack cakes. Well, not all of them, but most of them. And then there's like no bread. That was just too funny, Joe. Huh? Any down? Any game? Need some salt. Kosher salt. We're gonna make kosher salt. We're gonna make some ice cream with the kosher salt. It's so funny how they were like totally panicked. Joe, you want chips? Yeah, what kind Sorry, of they're all gone. <laughs> Instead of looking for water, this homeboy is sitting here looking for Texan stuff. Those are hey. these, those are cute Texan pants, though. I'm a fan 24 7, girl. That's cute. I still cannot believe it. there's no water, no bread, no chips, no snack cakes. <laughs> I think the media is just, they hype in the whole situation and people just completely panic and. Um, I understand the water part, yeah. It is important to have the water, but snack cakes, come on. Snack cakes, Twinkies. Oh yeah. Really? It's all the chocolate cover ones. Chips, really? Joe, they're even taking all the clothes. No. Grab clothes, grab all the bras you can grab. <laughs> Joe. Yeah, we got meat. <laughs> My dad actually needed it for work. Since he's gonna have to work like, um, I think he has to go in at 12. Since he's got to work all that time, he's going to um, barbecue out there, I guess, with the guys. So, Tell him what yeah. he does. Yeah, so he works for the city of Houston. So he's got to go do that. So I went to um, Sephora and I ended up getting this um, eye mask. I guess they're like eye patches that you put on your on your eyes, under your eyes so that it like moisturizes it. This one's called Fiber Eye Mask. Um, ultra moisturizing and brightening. So I'm going to try that. It was... I like to think five dollars for it so i decided to give it a try and then also needed a new palette um i really just needed gold and a dark brown so sephora had this um this little palette right here it's really small it's not nothing i, I hate to buy like the really big ones because a lot of times i end up not using most of the colors um so i wish i can open this so i can show you what it looks like love the colors of brown and gold that's like my go-to colors and I like it. It has a really nice dark matte brown color and then the really shimmery <clears throat> gold shades. This one actually, you can see it. it looks darker in here but whenever you actually swatch it, it looks really pretty and shimmery. So I like to do like this over on my lids and then this in the crease and then maybe like a little bit of this like on the top parts. So I think that's a good, it was only like 20, I think $24 for this. Maybe it was cheaper, maybe it was 19 I'm going, mm. to, I'm going over the board. My mom made a soup. It's like a, what do you call it, Joe? Gato? The boil? Sopa? i put some lime in it. It has uh, chicken, corn, potatoes, carrots, and then I just put like some rice in the bottom of it. Oh, so good. Man, guys, it's like storming so bad outside, right, Joe? Look at that storm. No, not really. <laughs> This <laughs> is not even close to storming right there. No, it's not even windy. It's not even sprinkling outside, I don't think. There's not even a cloud out there. <laughs> no, it's coming. It's just, right now it's already, what, like 1.30 in the morning? But, um, yeah, it's not even, like, storming yet. I think it's just going to be, like, on and off for the next two hours. I mean, it's the next two days. But anyways, I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. So, good night, guys. Um, hope everyone's safe, whoever is in this Houston or in Texas Gulf Coast, everywhere in this area. I hope y'all stay safe and we'll see you guys later. Say good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> good night. Bye, guys. So, apparently, this is the big storm everybody was worried about. <laughs> no flooding. I mean, it's raining, but it's not like completely pouring down or anything. 
There's definitely no street flooding, barely anything right there. Um, they're saying that the worst is going to come in a couple of hours, and I don't know. I mean, it just seems like it's just a steady light rain, but it's not anything like substantial that's going to like completely flood everyone's home, <laughs> at least not in this area. Um, so yeah, everyone's just going to have lots of water and bread and chips to last them all summer long. <laughs> But, I mean, it's a good thing. I'm glad it didn't turn out as bad as they were saying. And um, hopefully everyone else is safe. I mean, I haven't really watched the news um, since earlier this morning. But it's already about 3 or so now. And, um, yeah, it's definitely not as bad as they said it was going to get. So I take that back because now it's really starting to pour outside. And as you can see, this, the wind is starting to pick up definitely raining a lot harder. We heard a few like really loud gusts of wind a few minutes ago. It's starting to pick up so hopefully hopefully Joe gets out of work soon so that he doesn't get stuck in case there's any flooding because um, he's got to travel say maybe it's about 25 30 minutes to get here and he's gonna come pick me up from my mom's house so um, hopefully he gets out of work early enough so that he can get past all of this rain